Okay, uh, first of all, my greetings to one and all. And I also wish to put on record that today is 1st December. Uh, and we are also observing Indigenous Faith Day. So my greetings, warm greetings to uh, one and all, everyone uh, in this state and elsewhere. Uh, now, coming back to G20, uh, first of all, let us uh, greet each other. And we wish to, I wish to congratulate uh, each and every um, Indian, whether uh, living within the geographical boundaries of this country, our country, great nation India, or elsewhere. Uh, let me tell you that uh, how we are going to contribute. I believe that uh, uh, you have just, uh, I mean, uh, during uh, vote of thanks, uh, Dr. Sunil Kwezam has read out the, the punchline of Honorable Prime Minister, uh, Sri Narendra Modi ji. Uh, the agenda is set and it is very clear. RGU is going to organize uh, department-wise uh, national and uh, international seminars, webinars and workshop. And I have also encouraged our students uh, who have not finalized their PhD uh, topic in various uh, disciplines. They are also expected to identify the sustainable development goals, uh, uh, laid down goals, 17 of them. And you know, at, uh, apart from these 17 goals, uh, you could identify thousands and hundreds of the activities and uh, we could uh, encourage our students and teachers also to pick the topic uh, of the interest which will also serve the common purpose of this uh, i mean g20 as well as the of course the uh, the it will also help the student for future also sir uh, uh, the g20 also talk about vasudev uh, kutumbagam one art one family one future and arunachal uh, you, you are heading the university being strategically located with a lot of rich culture and heritage uh, so how do you plan uh, in the next one year to, to, to uplift uh, this particular cultural heritage? Okay, first of all, let me uh, tell you the key of uh, this particular uh, tagline. Uh, one earth, one nation and one future. One future. Uh, see, once we, we take care of the responsibilities, when you see uh, during uh, yesterday's convocation also, it, it was said very well that uh, if uh, any in any system uh, we are taking lesser and giving out more uh, the system tends to grow but when we are consuming more and returning lesser then uh, maybe there's a chances of system to collapse so you see this is a common future we are talking about that means uh, there's only one earth and uh, uh, need and greed is uh, defined very well and uh, when we try to satisfy the need of people and try to avoid the greed and i think it it has the same philosophy of telling that take lesser and give out uh, give more and more now coming back to culture uh, and then you see uh, there's a very common uh, thing which you see that when you want to involve uh, youths for certain things then uh, two three activities uh, we have to do first of all uh, you have to like uh, for uh, for a small thing like nukkar uh, natak uh, maybe some programs uh, where youth will be interested to come and join hand after that you throw the main agenda and uh, when it, uh, when we are talking about uh, our great state and uh, state which has its own importance because of the border uh, uh, Arunachal Pradesh. So, Arunachal Pradesh is rich uh, in culture, in diversity. I mean, uh, when, when we are talking to people that you can see the pan-India character, it is mini-India. Arunachal is known as a mini-India. You see everything here. And uh, the, what is the meaning of this? Man, that means uh, all walk of uh, uh, life which you see in India, that means pan-India, you can see in Arunachal itself. And then uh, life is very colorful. People also have that kind of feeling that they celebrate, they maintain their uh, culture. They, 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 every tribe, uh, I have seen um, uh, about 20, 30 festivals also. Every tribe is, uh, tribe is trying to maintain their language. Uh, they, mint, uh, they, they celebrate their culture. They tend to teach the, the uh, dress sense, uh, attire, 
and how to cook the food i mean all those apart from oral tradition i mean uh, see sometimes people feel that uh, written texts are not available much but oral tradition is so rich i witnessed one of the song uh, which could last for 2 3 days in jiro valley uh, i mean uh, i mean people will be changing i mean uh, some people 2 3 hours they will be singing something then somebody else will come and start singing but they will narrate everything so we have to understand and then this could be one good uh, source for connecting people and portraying or displaying our uh, rich culture to other part of the uh, the, the world apart you see this this uh, this is not the only uh, culture kind of thing i'm telling you see the this uh, uh, arunachal has survived or other part of the country also have survived uh, thousands of year but what are the techniques they are using what uh, what is the science behind those techniques uh, which sustained the uh, society in the in the olden time uh, we have not documented those kind of thing like for example someone told me few days um, ago that uh, the the conduit pipe uh, which we are using for uh, distrib water distribution or maybe nowadays we are using the conduit pipe also to for the electricity wiring kind of thing but conduit was used in arunachal pradesh maybe <coughs> Uh, for last uh, 500 year or so people used to, used to carry water through bamboo uh, and they laid the pipeline of bamboo so maybe uh, if i have to say that maybe this technique of uh, conducting uh, for water supply uh, people learned from arunachal pradesh then then maybe i have to justify so there's a need for us to do the research that from which time this water distribution was uh, done in uh, arunachal using the conduit of uh, yeah, uh, bamboo so this is just one example i gave you then healing techniques are there then other other issues uh, are also there so we can uh, launch a big scheme uh, rgu is ever ready to uh, to to sanction some amount money uh, to promote this kind of thing and we can document it and we will move forward thank you thank you sir